Hey there, welcome to Astro Psyche. I'm Shauna, your counseling astrologer. This is your weekly astrology forecast for September 26th through October 2nd. So this week we have Mercury involving communication, making some changes, and we also have um, Venus, Jupiter, and Pluto involved. And there's really this theme this week around communication in relationships. So I am excited to share the astrology of this week with you so that you can really make the most out of this week and bring some deeper meaning into um, the planetary themes through your life this week. So uh, I want to start with a quote that I feel embodies the energy of this week. So this is by the psychotherapist Sue Johnson from her book, Hold Me Tight. She says, love has an immense ability to help heal the devastating wounds that life sometimes deals us. Love also enhances our sense of connection to the larger world. The most functional way to regulate difficult emotions in love relationships is to share them. And I would add on to that, that the way that we share them um, really has a big impact. Um, but I really like this, um, that relationship is such a core part of how we regulate ourselves and that um, the sharing of how it is that we feel is really essential to, um, to regulating these difficult emotions that, um, that our ability to healthily attach and connect with others um, really helps us to, to live a more functional life, so to speak. So um, what does that have to do with the astrology of this week? So this week um, we have at the beginning of the week, Mercury, which is the planet of communication, uh, the intellect, your thought process, your linear thinking process, um, that planet is going to connect with Venus, which is the planet of relationships. So this is Mercury and Venus coming together in, to the same point in the zodiac. And um, this is happening in the sign of Virgo. So Virgo is Mercury ruled. Um, it's where Venus has kind of a more difficult time. And so I think especially the beginning of the week, Monday and Tuesday, is... Um, a helpful place to have those sort of like more difficult conversations to say what it is that you really want to say either to yourself or to others to be very clear um, in your communication and we're getting some assistance here with this because um, Mercury and Venus are trining Pluto and so Pluto is about bringing the unseen to light Pluto um, rules over challenging circumstances like shame, um, trauma, or crises. And so Pluto is about bringing the hidden up for air, um, up to be expressed. So, um, and this is uh, the aspect that Pluto is making with Mercury and Venus is very helpful. It's very supportive. It allows things to flow naturally. So, um, so this is a great um, time early in the week to, again, like be really, um, authentic and honest and clear about how it is that you feel, um, what your values are, Venus, and what it is that you want to communicate. Uh, now, shortly after this, um, Venus moves into Libra. So we have kind of like this, um, this ability to like say what it is and to, um, this could even just be simply getting clear on your own personal values and being honest with yourself. And then Venus moves into Libra, which is a much um, easier place for relationship themes. Um, so Venus has a harder time in Virgo because Virgo is um, a bit more analytical. It's a bit more about discerning and paring down what's important to you. Whereas Venus in Libra is about really finding balance and harmony and connection and um, finding a sense of peace through relationships or through beauty. And um, so Venus will be there for, for a little bit of time in October. Um, so this is kind of like a nice change. So that change happens, Venus from Virgo into Libra, um, Thursday this week. Now, uh, the other thing that's happening is that 
the Sun and Venus are also going to oppose Jupiter. So Jupiter is about um, inclusivity, about making things bigger, more expansive, more um, inclusive, um, more diversified even. Jupiter is really about justice. So this is where um, the sun is our conscious identity, Venus is relationships. There could be an expansion of your friend group, of your circle, of um, your awareness of who it is that you want to connect with, or it could be more like expanding your awareness of how it is that you want to spend your time and where you want to sun focus your energy. The sun is really about your life force and your vitality. Um, so it's really about growth and expansion. Um, it being an opposition, it indicates that there is some stress here. So I would be careful to um, not overexert yourself this week to like watch where you're putting your energy. Um, do you have all of the energy reserves that you need to complete all of the commitments and interests and things like that? Um, and that doesn't mean don't do something. It just means... Um, uh, sort of like prioritizing your energy and budgeting your energy in the way that you would budget your finances because your energy is precious. Uh, so another part um, that's happening this week, we will have Mercury stationing direct. So I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, but before that, uh, we have Mars making an aspect to Saturn. Now, this is a really helpful aspect because it's a trine. So Mars is about our physical energy, our um, physical muscular vitality. And then Saturn is about dedication, devotion, um, boundaries. Saturn is about doing things thoroughly um, over a long period of time where there is a, a significant gain that is going to happen, where you get... Um, where you get some sort of reward or payoff or feedback over a long period of time. Now, when these two come together, this is really about putting your energy into something over the long haul, over a long period of time. Um, it's a, a dedication towards progress. Now, with this happening this week, um, this is a great time to, um, to dedicate yourself to something that you want to really put a lot of energy into that you want to um, really dive into, dial into, um, and especially around anything that involves communication or even marketing um, or getting, getting your message out. I'm saying this because Mars is in Gemini and Saturn is in Aquarius. And so these are both air signs. Air is about communication, it's movement, and um, yet involves communication, marketing, business, etc. cetera. So, um, so this is a great aspect for really, again, like getting into a, um, like a workflow kind of zone. So that happens a little bit earlier in the week as well, um, Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, if there's something that you want to initiate um, that you want to be dedicated to, this is a great energy to, to channel into. Now, um, we also have Mercury stationing direct at 24 degrees of Virgo. So this is happening on Sunday, the 2nd of October. So the very end of the week. And um, so this, this whole week, we have this chance to sort of um, reflect on what it is that, that we've been reviewing and redoing or revising over the last couple of weeks since Mercury went retrograde earlier in the month. And so I'm really curious, like what, what has happened for you? I know some people are having more um, things like, um, like uh, car issues or computer issues or repair kind of like very physical world kind of things. And some people, it's more of an internal kind of process where you're thinking about, um, again, like how you spend your time and your energy and um, the people that you surround yourself with, your community. And I think with Mercury retrograde, it doesn't all have to be like this really challenging process. I think that we can look at it as what inside of you and outside of you is changing and what is calling for a change. 
And I think sometimes we don't realize it because, you know, we're in it, we're so close to ourselves, we don't realize it until we take a step back um, and sort of look at it or maybe talk to a friend or, um, or yeah, just have some time to like reflect on some of the, the overarching themes that have been happening over the last week. So, um, so this week, while Mercury is still retrograde, it's a great time to do that, to um, really sit with uh, what in your life is shifting and where you want to make changes, not just now, but um, moving into the next couple of months. What do you want to change and shift? And um, or maybe even what do you want to go back to in your life as well? I've noticed that's a theme too, is um, sometimes it's about revisiting something that maybe you let go of or lost somehow and you want to bring that back into your life. Uh, now I'm going to pull um, an animal card and maybe a tarot card for you. So uh, this will be a symbol of the week to give some some further guidance. So while I'm shuffling the cards, I want you to just um, take a couple of breaths and um, feel into your body. And maybe there's a question or um, a topic that you want to get some more clarity on. I want you to hold that in your heart. Okay. So um, two cards wanted to come out here, which is not what I was expecting. But uh, so I pulled the buffalo and the elk. So what's interesting to me is these two, like I'm struck by the antlers and the horns of each of these, and that they're both kind of um, deer-like animals. Um, so I want you to notice what comes up for you um, with these cards, uh, with these animals. Um, but for me, what comes up is like this sense of strength and stamina. Um, but also like they feel very Saturnian as well, where there's like um, this security as well, this um, stable groundedness and like even the, the antlers and the horns, like those are made of bone. Um, those are made of like this very hard, stable and boundaried kind of material. Um, so this to me is an indicator to to stay um, to stay stable and focused and grounded, and that there can be new growth. Um, like there can be this new growth, and I, I like the looking upward as well, um, and that that happens over time. To have like a, a certain sense of patience with this as well. Uh, so I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know um, or share it with a friend as well. I am wishing you a wonderful week and sending you lots of love. Bye.